Julie Spira wrote the book on cyber relationships. She met her husband online. That didn't work out. She's looking again. And so the news that dating sites will now essentially screen members for sex offenses is certainly welcome news. I think it's the site's responsibility to make singles feel safer. I think what they're doing is terrific because they're stepping up to the plate and providing education and links to dating safety articles and also you know, checking for the sex offender database, which will make people feel more comfortable. Of course, no system is foolproof. So Julie Spire has come up with some tips to make sure you don't make a dangerous mistake. There's a lot of easy ways to find out if somebody is really who they say they are, short of doing a background check. For example, use Google and Facebook. Check out the person you're considering dating. Set up a separate email and phone number just for dating purposes. And trust your intuition. If you think something's wrong, you may very well be right. People want to be loved and loved so badly that sometimes they just take these red flags and they just shove them under the carpet because they want to be in a relationship. Right. If you see something suspicious in anybody's profile or if they're from out of the country or if they ask you for money or anything seems a little odd, you know, report it to these sites. They really care.